I'm a Reiki master and healer, so oh. I've given up Thursdays for Psychic TV to do an extended um, practice day in my practice on Fridays. Oh, very lucky. It's my favourite thing to do at Reiki healings, yes. just because of the difference that it does make. So I can send you energetic healing straight from here tonight. I know from experience. I'm not just saying that because yeah. I had a car accident like nearly two years ago, and I went to. So many people, and remember, if I had yeah, if I hadn't yeah. have found you, where would so I be? So we shouldn't be in pain. I know, I know darling. I've come a so long way. I've healed you out of my business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, coming for for I'm coming for Reiki too. I'm coming for Reiki too. Yeah. So, so how's that? Very exciting. I'm very excited. So you can July. receive Reiki, or you can become attuned to yeah. Reiki. So if you want to know more, you can look me up. Cecilia, hi, and welcome everybody. We're doing a snapshot here for Cecilia K from WA. Thank you for your purchase. You're here with Bella Katrina. We have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But there is a special message here from Mother Mary Cecilia. I had to get the special cards out for you. There's a special message. So I'm just tuning into your energy field if you would just like to relax, sit back. Open your chest. I'm going to show you what that is because that's come out. Look, that's Mother Mary. I can't believe she's come out. These are the galactic cards and they've come out of these ones. How is she in these ones? That just spun me out, sorry. I have to stop there. I'm going to stop shuffling there. On the bottom you have Our Lady of Soul Birth. Your soul's having a birth. Our Lady of Nourishment. And Our Lady of Quiet Blossoming. So we've got this here just to do a bit of a healing with you as we start your snapshot. Mother Mary, she wants us to do Our Lady of Soul Birth. These are by Alana Fairchild. The Mother Mary cards, I would suggest that you get them. music for you so welcome golden mother burning bright and have with heavenly love you and I are one You honour the needs of my soul, wild and free. It must be fed, fed by darkness and light, both channelled into awakening and complete love. Watch over me, beloved mother, and bless me with all that I need to become my most radiant soul, alive with passionate play and divine love. Through the holy miracles of your grace, I remember you and I always one, and the world is nourished by our love. Imagine that you are in on the secret with her now, laughing too, as you realise the great burning sun is actually your own divine soul. Imagine that golden sun burning bright and feeling good as you realise you are within the centre of that golden sun with the Mother Mary holding your hand, shining beautiful golden light upon the earth together. Stay here in her golden healing ray of light and repeat the previous affirmation as many times as you wish. She will help you remember anything that you have forgotten and anything that you need now. So just close your eyes and visualize a bright golden sun burning all around you. Imagine that in the sun is Mother Mary in robes of golden fire gazing at you with intensity joy and laughter. So you're getting nourishment and quiet blossoming you're going through. And this is the Holy Sp and this is and this is the Holy Spirit with you. It's Mother Mary and the Holy Spirit. So well done on your faith. We've also got the crystal cards that came in, Archangel Michael, and we are going to do a snapshot. So thank you, thank you. But Mother Mary is really with you, right? She's saying you bring a lot of love and peace. A lot of love and peace. 
Ah, oh, she's just beautiful. Oh, she's from the Galactics. That's weird. Let go of the need to be right. This is your, still your message from Mother Mary. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is one of the best loved saints, masters and guides of the world. Although she has had a huge part to play in the Catholic faith, she can bring faith, peace and love to anyone who calls on her. She is the saint of the people. She works directly with the angels of peace to bring healing to the world, particularly where there is conflict. And she is dedicated to supporting children and mothers. She is the spiritual embodiment of unconditional love and acceptance. It is time to let go of conflict or the need to be right. The more you fight for the point you want to prove, the unhappier you will be. Pointing out the mistakes or mishaps of others just blocks the road to love in your own life. Mary, the Divine Mother of Acceptance, is with you now, encouraging you to forgive. Forgiveness is not about letting anyone get away with the, their bad choices, but about choosing to create your own happiness. Mother Mary also brings healing to you and your mother. If you miss her, are out of contact with her, or have an old trauma that needs healing. Know that Mother Mary's miraculous light is here now to wash away the darkness. So look for people that have this blue scarf. That's a sign that she's with you, the blue scarf. Also the roses, the smell of roses. I have actually smelt roses from Mother Mary. Got to make sure it's Mother Mary. That's why you have to have the Holy Spirit. Because there are deceitful spirits that smell like that, they say, which I've never come across. But anyway, so look for that and also look for, um, you know, bringing light through letting go of any unforgiveness. And then you won't be tempted. Now, what's come in for you is a special message from the crystal angels as well. So I'll just get going now and moving into a message for your soulmate relationship from Archangel Michael for Cecilia please Michael be gentle with yourself Archangel Michael please guide me in treating myself with gentle nurturing love in everything I think speak and do help me know that I deserve this compassion I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace so being kind to yourself, you know, it's from an um, overcritical parent. It's inner chatter. It's just tapes that play over. Jesus can help you. He's here with you now. Mother Mary loves you unconditionally. Jesus says, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It's our inheritance. And we only have that inheritance because of the sacrifice that God sent Jesus to sacrifice that so we have a way out. Now we have an inheritance. He had to do that so then Satan has no power over us. Negativity like that, shame, guilt, that's all gone because of the price that Jesus paid. That's why we love Jesus. Yes. So let him heal you and show you how to go to the kingdom by clearing all unforgiveness from your heart, shame and guilt. And that's your passport to the fifth dimension. We're looking at Romance Angels, what's coming up for Cecilia in her soulmate connection. Love coming in. What love's coming in for Cecilia? Okay. So they're asking you for if you travel with work constantly, like a, a traveling salesperson or, you know, that you have to go, go, go all the time, that will be slowing down because you're going to be creating a different lifestyle. So there's been chemistry in the past that you're going to free yourself from because it just didn't bring you. You know that when there's just chemistry, it's just a physical thing. You're really wanting a long-term commitment here. So in the past, the chemistry, you have to release that. And this is about the unforgiveness. That's why Mother Mary's come in. Jesus come in for you. Right? You need to release. 
Look at my release your fire. Release your fears with fire ceremonies. Do all of them. Just put it into the, you know, release fears. Needing to start doing this work, getting it out on paper, because that will free you. Because see, this unicorn, right, has it's like can jump that fence, but consciously you don't think you can. So you're trapped. And then all of a sudden you realize, I can just jump and you're free. You go, wow, all those constraints mentally, believing somebody else's opinion of me, knowing that there's more, knowing that I am more attractive, right? So underneath, this is a soulmate contract that you need to break. It's a karmic cycle that you're freeing yourself from. So this is epic, massive. You're probably feeling a little bit devastated at the moment. I just feel like it's a bit of a shock, a bit of like grief, right? But in that grief, something sprouts through like a new found power and clarity that you are attractive and you are going to have somebody that you feel attractive in their presence, right? That they're actually good for you. And because this man is good for you, right? Because this is good for you, this man feels good because he's making you feel good. And that's what he needs. So it just works well. You've never done this before. Because in your parents' relationship, maybe it was different. You know, it was duty. It was you had to, once you committed, you had to stay there for life. We're in a new paradigm. We're under grace now. We're not under law. So we're under God's grace. So you go to him. Because you, you making this effort is bringing in a soul kin. This is your soulmate, a soul kin I get. So this might be somebody from where you grew up, your neighborhood where you grew up. Yes? Yes. Like innocence. Do you know what I mean? Like this is like first love coming back. First love I get. And you are lovable and you deserve love. Anything else? For Cecilia, just relax, disconnect, let him come and find you, be the oasis that he's looking for. By being calm and just knowing that you are attractive and you've got the chemistry that somebody else wants. No more of this unrequited love. It is not for you. We have angels here, angel therapy cards. No, healing with the angels from Doreen Virtue. Just asking how this love's coming towards you. Anything else you need to know about your soulmate? We're looking for soulmate. Calling the romance angels. Soulmate Reiki angels. Cupid for Cecilia from WA. Thank you for your snapshot purchase. I look forward to meeting you in your free upgrade with me in your power shabam. So moving into this, so you release unforgiveness. It's like DMT is released in your brain. So you need to decalcify your third eye. So you need to drink purified water and no fluoride in your toothpaste, right? And also, if you can close um, down your computers, turn off your big TV at the wall and your Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi as you sleep because you need to get into this enchanted 7, it's like a 732 hertz frequency. And in this frequency, you can see magic, you can see um, water sprites, you can see fairies, you can see the magical elemental kingdom, yes? You can see the mineral kingdom, I just said. So you're one with crystals, right? You work very well with crystals. Crystal light, I just heard. You're a crystal light worker. You haven't put this together yet and there's ideas in it that are wanting to filter through. It's just needing to slow your mind, darling. Because you're getting signs, like they're sending you signs. I don't know whether you're getting them or receiving them, right? So new friendships coming in to lighten your mood, to make you feel. So it, what happens is this changes your frequency, these friendships, which actually elevates you to attract in love. Let's see. 
Lots of signs, lots of guidance, lots of intentions, trying to manifest, right, trying to manifest. Just trying a little bit too hard because there's a miracle here, but you just need to allow it in. The miracle's already here. You just need to allow it in. And this is about a miracle that you've been asking for for a very long time because you just want to have a, a balanced, happy life with good people, good friends, good times, good food. And you want to be synchronistically following your path of divine guidance because that's really what you want. You want synchronicity and serendipity serendipity all the time and that's why in the fairy realm we can manifest instantly like that like that you think in the fifth dimension where we're going in the kingdom you think about it it's there there's no lag time but that has to go through the seven chakras like it does down here you know like we manifest through our body through our seven energy centers so you have been doing that and you've been balancing you've been setting an intention for this love affair you've been opening to new friendships right so the divine guidance is here but um, the manifestation has slowed down for some reason. So I think it's just because you know you're integrating this new energy of the diamond light codes, this awakening energy. There's lots of light coming into your body. So with divine guidance, says trust and follow your intuition. It is God and the angels speaking to you. You are being divinely guided right now. Your gut feelings have the knowingness, the visions or the inner voice are all telling you something and it is very important that you trust and follow this guidance. If you drew more than one card, pay close attention to the cards that are on either side of the divine guidance card. They contain important instructions for you. These nearby cards feature facets of the message that the angels seek to impress upon you. So it's about balance and intention, staying in your balance and intention. They were the two cards around there. But I pulled out manifestation, right, because you've got to follow your divine guidance, getting out of the way, because a lot of times our divine guidance, right, is um, totally unrelated to our manifestation. So when you're intelligent like that, you can go into arguing about it. You've learnt that lesson and now you're just going to open to receiving the message. So you have to get into the present moment, balancing your mind. Your hope for aspirations are on their way to you. They may arrive in a different fashion than you expected, but the rewards that you truly desire, such as feelings of peace, security and happiness, are manifested exactly as you requested. Ask your angels to help you have faith in your ability to manifest. Dear angels, help me have faith in my ability to manifest. Help me increase my faith, dear Jesus. With this faith, you and God can do anything. This is the process by which all thoughts transform into tangible form. First, they begin as an idea born of divine source. Then the idea meets with a feeling. If the feeling is loving and nurturing, the idea and the feeling create the embryo of the manifestation. You nourish your newborn idea by believing in it and by following the step-by-step -step guidance that God and the angels give to you through your feelings, dreams and visions. Wow, this is a really powerful time to manifest. I think this starts in, in friendship, in a really deep, grounded friendship that you're able to just be yourself. We have the crystal angels here for you as a message for your soulmate. Then we're going to do a snapshot on how they're coming towards you. I hope you're enjoying this reading. I certainly am. And we've got a special message from Tony Carmine Salerno. So let's have a look at the crystal angels. What is their, mes oh, what is their message for you? For romance, soulmate, connection coming up, soulmate. From the crystal angels of enduring virtue. Here we are. <gasps> The recovery of health and wellness is here. Jade, the caduceus, right? You're a healer. You're both healers here. I get that this guy's a healer, definitely a healer. Um, like he has a, it's, he has a practice, I feel it. Stay strong in your faith. This is a big message for you today, Cecilia, wasn't it? A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. And look at you, beautiful girl. Your third eye opening it comes down here and opens and you get DMT. It's euphoric feeling, right? Euphoric. 
So there's definite healing. You're a healer. Jade is a crystal for you to put in your pillow to sleep at night. This card announces improved health and wellness with focus upon recovery and increased commitment to healing yields positive results. A multi-model approach to health, including especially prayer, faith and optimism is indicated and appropriate right now. You need a miracle here. This is also a sign that your own work to help others is flourishing. God and the guardian angels are working through your intentions to bring healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Your commitment to bring being a health, your commitment to being a healing earth angel is opening up physical and energetic avenues in your therapeutic practice. Oh, I could see the practice. Our acts of service. This is a good time to do research, skill building and marketing to expand the scope of your healing work. Follow your intuition closely. This beautiful stone is prominently featured in carved Asian statues and jewellery. Usually deep green jade has been used as a healing crystal since ancient times. So you have ancient healing abilities that are downloading at this time. And you do have a partner that you go into partnership with. This is a soulmate connection in partnership. Let's have a look how they're coming towards you. So you're already in a healing practice or doing some type of modality. Um, think about doing, you know, Reiki just to protect your energy field when you're working in the healing arts. It allowed me to be able to turn on and off my psychic ability, you know, with protection and grace. So I really, I loved, as soon as I got to Reiki Master, it was like all clicked in. And then your hands open for healing. So it's a, it's a new... Um, vibration of life force that you flow with so that helps with your manifesting let's have a look at how your soulmate love is coming towards you this month July so he's making plenty of money he's good with money he's very grounded he has a lovely daily method of operation like I could see him he opens the practice he might be a chiropractor he could even be a dentist you know what I mean I feel like he's it's very clean his space is very clean, but I feel like he's got um, aromatherapy as well or, you know, so there is an alternative aspect to what he does. You might even work with him. Is this your boss? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So you're wanting to move forward. Yes. You found this person. Yeah. You know who this is. You want to move forward. Look, you want to move forward, move forward, move forward, but there's some tact guile right there's some it's not underhanded right it's just being diplomatic here you're being very diplomatic here because there may be another person involved right or children involved or um maybe it's a split in a business because in the outcome here is the ten of wands this is being exhausted like this is this guy's being overwhelmed at the moment, right? But then you might come in and help. Wow. I think that you have travelled to see each other or you know him from a trip. Right? And it was just love at first sight. It's just instant. It's just beautiful. It's just like Knight of Cups to Ten of Cups. And then Eight of Wands, it just feels like there's a massive clear path that's opening up for this to flourish. And it's just at the beginning, oh no, it's here, it's at the Eight. Sorry, I thought that was a Two. It's at the Eight of Pentacles. So this is a very strong commitment here. Right? You need to chill out and really um, allow it in here because this is beautiful. This is, what I mean chill out is like, again, being diplomatic in your thoughts and I get this as being stoic in your patience because it's not your strong point. But there is something that has to f click into place. And this, this person, your soulmate, has a lot of integrity, right? Very hard worker, very authentic. And he wants to do it by the book. He's ready to commit to you. But you, yeah, you're going to do it. 
Because look, he's the wounded healer here and you're the empress. So this is a creation energy. You're ready. You're so ready for this commitment. So don't pretend that, you know, you've got other options. He doesn't want you to have any other options, this guy. And he's done. And you're exhausted looking. So let him come and find you, darling. This is the romance of a lifetime. This is marriage. This is a love affair. Let it blossom. Let it bloom. But also you've got to get your energy back for it, don't you? Because you're the empress here. You want to be the empress, not the ten of wands, yeah? So don't have one second of belief that this is not happening. Know that the longer it takes, the better it's being set up behind the scenes. And you're the empress. You can create anything you want through your thoughts, your feelings and your actions because you've got the king of cups here, right? He's the healer. He's the empath. He's the one with the aromatherapy. <laughs> He's lovely and he's coming to get you once he gets out of this contract, right? It's the contract that he's in. I think you know what I'm talking about. He is going to marry you, All right? He's just going to go, right, I got that sorted. It's like, I just got um, my all my paperwork through. Do you want to get married? It's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay then. <laughs> You're like, wow. Like that's romantic because of the commitment level. Hope you've enjoyed this reading. I can't wait to connect with you um, to do your Reiki level one and two because you need it to um, bring life force to yourself and to the planet. You would benefit greatly. You could do it with me, Reiki by Bella.com. And thanks for your purchase. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I look forward to connecting with you in your free upgrade. And know also that Soulmate Reiki is available and very powerful to really help the heart connect within 90 days of the attunement and you get a workshop. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching everyone and your wonderful comments below and for your supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. May God bless you in magical, wonderful ways. Seek him till you find him. I love you. God bless and bye for now. We say thank you, Father God, for keeping us safe and protected as this karmic cycle ends and for helping us face all our fears that came up in the last two years from every fear from this whole cycle each seven year cycle nine year cycle and the big karmic cycle we thank you for your firewall of protection for your guidance your healing and for your salvation through your son jesus we ask that we let go of all, we detach and we let go. Please renew us, Father God, for the new journey ahead. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Saviour, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you. Hi, I'm Bella. I'm actually inviting you to become Reiki One Attuned. A Reiki attunement is opening your energetic field and chakras or your energy centers up to receive universal life force 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the rest of your life. I do four hour workshops for busy people. Becoming attuned at a Reiki one level is for self and for self healing. To feel more present if you suffer with anxiety or insomnia, it may help because we clear the energy field, we take a lot of the worry out that's from others and it also allows you to follow your intuition a little bit better. So yeah, you feel grounded, much more present and able to hear, listen and feel your intuition or your intuitive bodies talking to you. So I look forward to your attunement and becoming attuned with me and we'll do that on the new moon. So I'll see you there, bellacatrina.com or join the conversation on Facebook forward slash Bella Katrina. I'll talk to you then. Bye.